Hey guys, it's Clayton, and I worked 13 hours today, and it's like after midnight, and I'm really tired, but I just took, um, I just took the Fragile out of its wrapping. I got the Fragile and the Downward Spiral by Nine Inch Nails on vinyl from Christmas, I believe. This is from my grandma. And the downward spiral is from my parents. So, up until Christmas, I've only seen the front cover of it because I've just listened to it on Spotify. So, it was cool seeing this for the first time on, uh, on Christmas. Um, yeah. Right. Okay. So, yeah, if you can see, it is pretty thick, um, definitely bigger than a regular, um, wallet, um, like the jacket, I don't know, um, but, yeah, this says, like, all the songs that are on here. Oh, looks like comes out like that. Okay. Well, let's see what, what it looks like. Let's press on the 180 gram vinyl. Oh, yeah, we got two for here. Also, my mom is recording this, so thank you, mom. very excited to listen to this. I love this album so much. Um, I've been listening to Nine Inch Nails a lot in the past four months and they've really grown on me. So, amazing album. Definitely didn't think it was at first, but it's grown on me and I feel like every time I listen to it, or most times, it's like I notice something a little bit different in at least one song. So it's cool, like, getting to know the album more, like, over time. Anyways. Oh yeah, on the wrapping for it, it says the definitive vinyl edition of the Fragile, meticulously prepared by Trent Reznor and Nine Inch Nails art director John Crawford, remastered 2017 audio on 180 gram vinyl, remastered artwork and more. Halo 14, original release date, September 21st, 1999. Cool. It's cool if I do this one too. Cool. Alright, so here's the Downward Spiral. Amazing album. It's like one of the greatest albums, I think. Um, now, what it reads right here is... Nine Inch Nails, The Downward Spiral, the definitive vinyl edition of The Downward Spiral, meticulously prepared by Trent Reznor and Nine Inch Nails art director John Crawford, remastered 2017 audio on 180 gram vinyl, remastered artwork, and more. Feels like I just read that, because I basically did. Halo 8, original release date, March 8th, 1994. Now, whenever I read March, I think of the song March of the Pigs. It's like yeah. the fourth song on the album, which was too crazy for me at first, but it's grown on me and I really like it. Oh wow. This is very interesting. It reminds me a bit of the cover art of the uh, 
broken EP from 1991. Just the coloring of it, it's so orange. So let's see. Oh. Wow. First of all, you get like a little book in here. What the heck? I wonder if there's one with the flag out. Whoa. Like, <laughs> this is so cool. Like, I, I get to read about the history of this album. Here is the uh, sleeve. It's got the lyrics on one side, this on the other. I've never seen this artwork before, so it's pretty cool. Very excited to read this. I love uh, Trent Reznor. I um, when I was working the overnight shift at work, I was by myself nearly the whole time, and uh, I was listening to Nine Inch Nails a ton, probably at least like an hour every shift. But when I wasn't listening to Nine Inch Nails, I was listening to interviews of Trent Reznor, and even if he wasn't talking about Nine Inch Nails, just hearing him talk about his life or the band or from scoring music was just so fascinating to me. I like, you know, his voice is cool. But just how he articulates his thoughts and he's a very smart person, intelligent. So it's just, it's very interesting to hear him talk. It's kind of random, but I also love listening to David Lee Roth talk. I could probably never get bored of him talking. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So what is on the other side is just the second disc of the album. It's cool, it says Nine Inch Nails. Or the symbol, N-I-N. I kind of already have an idea of what this will look like. Before the end of the video, I, uh, I want to go back to the fragile and see if there's like a little book in there like there is for the downward spiral. Oh my gosh, there is. Oh my gosh, is this a poster too? Oh my gosh. So one, we got this right here. At the corner of nothing and nowhere, sequencing the fragile. This will be a fun read, but I got a poster. Oh my gosh. We do not got a poster. That was April Fools. Hopefully it's April Fools if you're watching this. That was embarrassing. This is not a poster. I, this is pretty thick. I thought this was gonna be like a huge wall poster. No, but it's a, a lyric booklet. And it's got some artwork, and it's got like the lyrics. The um, pictures on here remind me of a music video for Into the Void. And I find it, I kind of feel like it could be snapshots from that music video, maybe. The close ups of Trent Reznor. Ooh, Into the Void. Great song. It was on my second listening of this album, which is, gosh, mm, probably about three to four months ago. Probably about three months ago, I'd say. And the first time I listened to it was probably about ten months prior to the second listen. But I was really getting into Nine Inch Nails. And I decided I'd go for the Fragile again, try it out. It started growing on me, but not at first. There's only a few songs that stuck out to me. The one that really stuck out to me first was Into the Void. And I didn't, it was my first listen. It felt like the first listen to me, and I didn't really, I didn't really know all the lyrics, understand exactly what he's saying, but the 
Dun 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 and like just the beat of it was just so like hypnotizing in a way. I remember that listen, the start of it, I was driving to my coworker's house to pick him up. I was working the overnight shift. And it was about between four fifteen and four twenty in the morning. I don't know the date, but that's around the time. Oh. Yeah. But uh great song. Anyways. Um I really love Somewhat Damaged too. It is awesome. If this like I I already said this, but this is gonna be a really fun read. Yep, and that is everything. Thank you for watching, and uh, hope you have a great night, or <laughs> it's nighttime for me. Hope you have a great time, wherever you are, whatever time it is. Love you. Bye.